The Spike Tool Kapoor SEMID indicator is a strategy that has been offered for various platforms on the Trading Finder website. From this section, you can download the indicator file for MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5 platforms and run it on your chart. Traders can also refer to this page to learn how the indicator works and operates. From the Navigator section, we select the indicator file and by dragging the file onto the chart, we run the indicator. We go to the Dependencies tab and in this tab, we need to enable the Allow DLL Imports option. We go to the Inputs tab and in this section, you need to enter your dedicated license for this indicator. To obtain your dedicated license, visit the Trading Finder website and get your exclusive license for this indicator from the Support section, then enter it here. Just make sure to note that the license you receive is only valid for that specific device and will not work on other devices. In this tab, we can enable or disable the alert sending status when trading opportunities are detected. In the first input, we can enable or disable the alert sending status. In the second input, we can enable or disable sending alerts as notifications. And finally, in the third input, we can enable or disable sending alerts to the mailbox. If you set this option to true, you must have already completed the email settings in the tools section under options. In the next Section, we can configure the spike detection settings. In the first input, you can set the number of candles to check the average candle movement for spike detection, which by default is set to 300 candles. This means it will review 300 candles back from the current candle and look for spike candles. In the second input, you can set the percentage value for spike identification among the candles being reviewed, which by default is set to 10%. This means it will review the top 10% of the largest candles and consider them as spike candles. The higher you set this value, the more spike candles it will identify, but they will be less powerful. The lower you set this value, the fewer fewer spike candles it will identify, but those will be larger and more powerful. By clicking the confirm button, the strategy will be executed on the chart and will start identifying trading opportunities on the price chart. The East Indicator in the Lake Poor Samadhi strategy is a powerful trading strategy based on two key concepts, spike and the AB equals CD movement pattern. This indicator is designed for price action traders who use the fast scalp and scalper trading styles, which allows traders to identify trading opportunities in one minute time frames. and 5 minutes and is available to traders. It does not work on time frames higher than 1 minute and 5 minutes and it gives us a warning that to execute the strategy we must be on the 5 minute or 1 minute time frame. When we run the strategy, the trading opportunities that are identified come with an entry point, stop loss level and take profit level. The indicator identifies this level for us and displays the spike candle with a signal icon. It shows the entry point level with a line and finally it displays the breakout candle signal with an arrow. Spike candles are a three candle structure moving in the same direction. The middle candle clearly indicates an imbalance and distinctly represents a sharp market move. Here, we observe a bearish two-candle pattern where the middle candle is a strong sharp candle. Also, there is a noticeable gap between the first and third candles which highlights this imbalance and shows buying or selling pressure in the market. Usually, we can spot spike candles after a ranging phase and we can identify it after a phase of consolidation, where here the price is in a weak range, and after that, a strong impulsive leg occurs with a spike candle, which is shown here as the spike candle. For this strategy, we have considered two main conditions for confirming a spike candle. The first condition is that the spike candle must exceed the spike size value, which is set in the panel section. This value can be changed depending on each candle 
and each market segment. Currently, it is set at 135.06 or 13,506 points or 1,350 pips. If this candle, or more precisely the current candle, is larger than this value, it is identified as a spike candle. For example, if we look at this candle, its movement is about 18,207 points. The second condition is the ratio of the candle's body, which must be at least 65% of the total candle size for the spike candle to have enough credibility for confirmation. Once these conditions are met, the spike candle is identified. And after that, the indicator looks for a breakout of a level in this strategy. Here we can see that the price has moved significantly downward. A distinct spike candle has been clearly identified, and this significant imbalance that inherently exists between these three crucial candles, that is to say, the noticeable gap between the very first and the third candles, and if the price successfully manages to break decisively above the critical level of the third candle, it is then considered a valid entry point, and we can confidently enter a sell trade in the financial market. But if it unfortunately fails, like in this particular part of the chart, we clearly see that a new lower low has been made, as well as a corresponding lower high. Here, our entry point shifts to the next candle. In the next candle, we also see that it hasn't managed to break this high, and we move into the following candle, where both a lower candle, a lower high, and a lower low are formed for us, so our entry point shifts to this candle. Again in the next section, we see that here a lower low and a lower high are formed, so our entry point moves to this section. Finally in this candle, we see that the price manages to break this level upwards, which is considered a confirmation for entering the trade. The signal is generally generated for us after the candle closes, the indicator automatically considers the level from the entry point to the movement leg as the wave, and it identifies this leg. It places the stop loss level behind the wave and calculates the distance from the entry point to the stop loss, and it sets the take profit level for us, which is considered at a 1 to 1 risk reward ratio. Here, we see that the price has pulled back upwards, but it hasn't reached the stop loss level, and after that, it has continued its downward trend and hit our target at this point. In the next scenario, there is also a bullish example. Here we see that after a downward trend, the price has entered a bullish movement leg. A spike candle has formed here for us, where we can observe the imbalance among these three candles. In the next candle, the price manages to break the low of the third candle, and here our entry point is determined. At this point, we can enter a buy trade, and the stop level is set at the movement wave or the AB wave. Our target level is considered to be the CD amount, which is calculated from the entry point to the stop loss level, and based on that, the take profit level is set. As we can see, in the next candle, the price successfully hits the take profit level in this section. On the left side of our screen, there is a dedicated panel for us, where in the very first and uppermost section, the remaining time until the current candle completely closes is prominently displayed. Right now, at this precise moment, we can clearly observe that there are exactly two minutes left until the current candle fully closes, and immediately after that, the candle will indeed close. Below that particular section, there are several important options presented for total trigger, for long trades, and for short trades. The total triggers metric is fundamentally based on all the various trading strategies that have been meticulously calculated and applied on this specific chart. Currently, a significant number of 39 distinct strategies have been successfully identified, of which precisely 21 are designated as long trades and exactly 10 are categorized as short trades. In the last section, the spike size value is also displayed, which relates to the last candle. This particular value can potentially change based on the movement of the individual candles. Also, traders can simply click on the very top part of the panel, 
move the information panel, or by clicking on the minimize button, reduce the panel to its minimum size, where only the remaining time until the current candle closes is displayed. By clicking again, the panel size returns to its original state. One important point to keep in mind is the distance between the entry point and the stop loss level. If this distance is too large, that strategy is not practical. For example, at this point we can see that a spike movement has formed here. The spike candle is considered to be this candle, and up to this time the price has not managed to break the resistance so it hasn't been able to determine the entry point for us. The distance between the entry point and the stop loss level is very large, which causes our take profit level to also increase, making it much harder for the price movement to reach the take profit level. So, the optimal scenario is for the precise distance between the entry point and the stop loss level to be a very specific and indeed short amount. For example, in this particular candlestick, the significant spike candle has been clearly identified and the exact entry point level is precisely marked here. And after that we can observe that the price action moves steadily upward and then consistently heads toward our take profit target, ultimately touching our TP at this specific point. Well friends, we have now reached the comprehensive end of this detailed indicator tutorial. We would be genuinely happy if you could kindly share your valuable comments and constructive suggestions with us in the dedicated comments section.